And now the team award for the Bromley Directorate. The three shortlisted teams are the Bromley Adapt East team for supporting patients, carers and staff and ensuring no clinic has been cancelled this year. The Carlton Parade reception team where Donna and Mandy have provided a calm, stable environment working on reception throughout the pandemic. And Scadbury Ward, a ward for older people at Green Parks House who've done everything possible to prevent COVID-19 affecting patients on the ward, as well as for supporting those who unfortunately contracted the virus. We go over now to our Associate Director of Nursing and Judging Panellist, Christine Capopo, who spoke about the quality of the nominations this year. We shortlist the three teams. These teams work really hard and they're acknowledged by people. We're outside the teams, which is always a good sign. Uh, people came in with independent eyes and gave objective views of what they'd done. And uh, it was an honour and a pleasure to be part of the shortlisting panel. The nominations were of high quality and I'm glad that we have this uh, opportunity to celebrate people who do what they love doing, but they'll go over and above to do it. All teams nominated were fantastic and all deserving of an award. And the winner for our Bromley Directorate is Scadbury Award. Nominations were received from colleagues, including a staff member redeployed to Scadbury during the pandemic. The nominations reflect on the warmth and kindness of staff and the excellent care, compassion and kindness they showed to their patients and to each other. The team have worked exceptionally hard to manage the risks with COVID-19, adhering to the guidance and doing everything they can to prevent the virus from affecting more patients on the ward and supporting those suffering with the virus effectively. Our cameras were at Green Parks House where staff for Scadbury thought they were being interviewed for Oxwide, but they were interrupted by Effie Kocha, who had an announcement to make. So what are you doing? Good morning all. Ah, Scudbury Ward. Right, so I'm here to talk about the uh, awards for Bromley Team of the Year uh, in light of our Recognition Awards uh, programme. So I'm delighted to present Scudbury Ward with the award uh, winner of the Bromley <laughs> I'm kind of out of speechless, I'm shocked. Uh, but I think that person kind of took whatever that I was going to say about Scabry. Uh, during the pandemic, it was an experience in the half when it all started. But to everybody, thank you very much. Uh, yes, people phoned in sick, but everyone's pulling up together. So thank you, everybody. The domestics who were also cleaning the ward, I mean, we did an extremely good job. Thank you. Thank you, the team, for the hard work that they did during the pandemic. So it was a lot of fairness. Support to me, Sheikh, is a very supportive manager. Thank you so much for the hard work that guys you've done. And the warm welcome that I received when I came back from, 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 from off sick and Pat, your yeah, housekeeper. Thank you so much. I'm the infection control lead and I'm always saying this and that and it's done. And thank you so much team. I'm proud of you. Well, it was lovely reading through all the um, applications again, wasn't it? And it always feels so hard um, choosing a winner. But I think um, we were all agreed that Scabbury Ward were very much the um, deserved winners this year. Um, they've done an amazing job and particularly through COVID, I think listening to the nomination from a member of staff that had been redeployed there was particularly poignant. And yeah, congratulations to Scabbury. I think we all agreed that they definitely deserved the win this year. Lovely words from everyone there and thank you to Joe, Peter and Effie for playing their part in the surprise. We also want to pay tribute to our two highly commended teams, starting with the Carlton Parade reception team, where Donna and Mandy are a real asset to the team and the service users there at Carlton Parade. They're always calm and have a positive influence on patients and colleagues. 
During this pandemic, with other professionals working from home, both Mandy and Donna have been coming into Carlton Parade consistently. The reception area has remained open for clozapine and depot clinics, and they've had to deal with a high volume of visitors on clinic days. And also to the Bromley Adapt East team, where over the year they've managed to reduce their caseload from near 500 to 300. This has been a great team effort, focusing on outcomes but not compromising effective and quality care to their patients and carers. During COVID-19, the whole team rapidly responded and changed their working style and no clinic was cancelled. Patient satisfaction remained a key focus, involving patients in telephone and video consultations with very good feedback. All vulnerable patients were identified and contact was made with them, needing food vouchers and other support. The team supported colleagues with health conditions in a very compassionate way and helped staff to adapt to remote working. Well done to everyone at Bromley. Mm -hmm.